Welcome to the Patriot Training YouTube channel. My name is Clay Howell. I'm the owner and head firearms instructor at Patriot Training. The topic of this video is a very somber one. I want to give some thoughts on the shooting that happened in Nashville earlier this week. And you know, there's a lot of things to unpack. There's a lot of information here. Uh, first and foremost, um, Police across the nation had a really bad look. You know, you had Uvalde, you had the Florida shooting, things like that, where, you know, uh, police did not go in and save anybody. And people expect them to. Uh, the Supreme Court has ruled time and time again that police have no responsibility, uh, no duty to, um, to come and save you. Their job is to write accident reports after the fact and investigate crimes. Uh, they are not a defensive unit, and for some reason, we the people tend to believe that they are, and that's just, you know, that's us being foolish. Uh, that's us being wishful. That's us being hopeful, and there was a time when they were, and the men and women of law enforcement who were the true warriors are all but extinct. There are a few left. There are very few. It is not the standard. It is the exception. Law enforcement um, has been watered down in past years. And that's why we're seeing what we're seeing. Um, that said, this was a win for law enforcement nationwide. Uh, the Nashville police officers who went in and took out that active shooter are absolute heroes, no question about it. Um, my first thought was it was surprisingly skillful technique when I saw the entry that they made. It was I've seen a lot of videos where police are doing training and things like that and it just really wasn't up to par and the level of skill was a lot higher than those videos that I've seen so I was impressed but uh, you know hats off to them for entering that building they're definitely heroes uh, no questions about it you know they won the fight so you know we can talk about tactics and everything as much as you want but at the end of the day they won the fight and that's the key thing um, to my fellow civilians, do not become complacent. It still took the police 14 minutes to get there. 14 minutes. You know the old saying, it's, it's said kind of tongue in cheek, when seconds count, police are minutes away. This is not a knock on cops, but I saw some research recently that if you need police, if you need EMS, and if they were literally one block over, by the time your 911 call gets to the dispatcher, by the time they figure out what's going on, by the time they dispatch somebody, the very, very, very best case scenario is three minutes. And I tell you what, in a mass shooting incident, a lot of people can perish inside of three minutes. So you are your first responder. You are your best first responder. You might be the only first responder. That responsibility still falls on your shoulders. Uh, these police acted well. Don't expect your police to do the same. If you're sitting there, oh, no, my department. No, that means your department will fail to go in the building. Up until just last year, the people in Uvalde, Texas, thought that their department would go in and save people. No, they don't. That is your department I'm talking about. You need to be prepared to protect your life, period. Um, understand that Nashville is the anomaly. It's not the standard. It's, it is the exception to the rule. It's, uh, you know, just keep that in mind. I will say this, there are a number of things that are very questionable about this shooting. There always are. There always are. Uh, a good friend of mine who's a conspiracy theorist, and, and just in case you're wondering, she's about 48 and 0 right now in her conspiracy theories. She uh, posted a meme that suggests that uh, insane people don't commit mass shootings. The FBI does. And whether or not that's the case, I don't know. Uh, you know, that's it's certainly funny, but... Um, Several weeks ago, when the ATF rule went into effect about AR pistol braces, and they said that, uh, you know, or, or I should say it didn't go into effect, but rather when the ATF rule became published and we were given a timeline to register the guns that had the pistol braces and all that kind of crap, um, there were many of us, myself included, so many of us saying there's going to be a mass shooting where an AR with a pistol brace is used. And we sat there and we predicted it. And in their, the laundry list, you know, I know at least a dozen YouTubers that did. I know of at least, a, you know, two dozen friends that posted this on social media. We were all expecting it. Lo and behold, the shooter in Nashville on Monday had an AR 
pistol that was strapped to the waist, um, maybe around a sling perhaps, but it was right down here in the waist area. Uh, primarily it looked like the weapon of choice was the kel Sub-2000 that was used. Um, and that's a folding stock, and that's another thing that, uh, you know, your dear leader, Mr. Biden, uh, Mr. Sleepyhead, Mr. Sniffer, Mr. Child Molester-in-Chief, uh, that the folding stocks are another thing that are on his uh, assault weapons ban. So um, not surprising that there was a folding stock there. Um, something else that didn't make sense about this one is we know that there's a manifesto, and yet they will not release the manifesto. And I believe I read yesterday where a, um, a public official, some, uh, an elected official, said that uh, they can't release it because um, there would be consequences if it were released or something to that effect. So you've got an active um, attempt to suppress that manifesto, and I believe because it doesn't fit the narrative, you probably have somebody that's really, really mentally troubled, and, and, and who knows? It would not surprise me if law enforcement already knew about this individual, and that might have been detailed in the manifesto, and that might show that you know law enforcement had been complacent about possibly being proactive in this situation. I don't know. It's it's happened so many times, though. Many many of these mass shooters, law enforcement was already aware of, the FBI was already aware of, et cetera, et cetera. So that would not surprise me. Another thing that's not adding up is the shoes. I, I've looked at that several times. I've seen the memes and everything. Um, yeah, it, it, another thing that might not add up. Um, one thing's for certain, there's a lot to this situation that we don't know and that we are never going to know. It's going to be actively kept from us as long as they can. So, um, and kind of in, in uh, wrapping that one up, also uh, this video is being filmed on Friday and should be released on Saturday, April the 1st. And as of right now, and I'll put up some of the uh, the memes right over here. Um, as of right now, there are several um, transgender marches, uh, rallies going on in the Nashville area, both Friday or excuse me, both Saturday and Sunday. And they state that you know, march for trans lives, that transgender uh, persons' lives are at risk. And you will hear them. Uh, you know, I saw the video of the one saying that there, it was genocide was happening against them. And I'm going to tell you right now, the only genocide that's happening towards trans people is they are dying at their own hands by way of, you know, self-inflicted uh, permanent dirt naps, if you will. So, um, you know, they, they are offing themselves. That's the only genocide that's happening to trans people. There's nobody else out there doing anything against them. Nobody is harming them. Yes, it was just signed into law in Tennessee that a person under the age of 18 cannot consent to gender, uh, you know, mutilation surgeries and that sort of thing. And that's a good thing, you know, that these people that are underage, they, they can't do some other things too. They can't imbibe alcohol. They cannot, you know, use tobacco products. They cannot, you know, do other things that are harmful. So uh, by the same token, you know, let's not mutilate their bodies before they are grown. That's for sure. That's, that was a good law that was passed. And you know, trying to um, sexually indoctrinate the children before they are of age. That's also something that needed to be banned, and it's a good thing. And this is not against trans. I think we should all agree that there's a time and a place to learn about that, and school is not it. Whatever happened to reading, writing, and arithmetic, you know? So there's these marches going on. Um, they're saying for trans lives, and, you know, trans lives matter, okay, whatever. I'm not going to agree or disagree. I, um, you know, you do you, I'll do me. Uh, that said, there's nobody out there killing trans people. It's just not happening. They are killing themselves. That's all. That's it. And I've got a standing rule that it's, um, you know, my opinion until somebody can change my mind. My opinion is that it's a mental disorder. And, you know, we mentally sane people don't go into schools and shoot children and, and, and administrators. That's just not what mentally sane people do. So, uh, you know, it, it kind of holds true again. And right now we're sitting on the fact that the last four mass shooters all identified as trans persons. So um, draw your own conclusions, my friends. Well, that's pretty much all I wanted to get out on this one. Stay safe because you are your own first responder. Nobody's coming to save you. It is up to you. 
Uh, that is called personal accountability. You need to have it. Um, if you like what you see here on the Patriot Training YouTube channel, hit like, hit subscribe, maybe even click that notification bell. And I must remind you that you don't have to be a Patriot to train, but you do have to train if you want to be a Patriot. Take care.